Greetings on this last day of June, if you can already believe it. And we're going to talk more about how June broke down by the numbers tomorrow, but uh, keeping track of some records yesterday. And this is the really the story of climate change. 140 records either broken, tied, or close to records yesterday around the globe, and only eight cold records. So 140 to eight. That tells you the uh, net in the atmosphere. And let's play a little game here. Which is hotter, Las Vegas or Canada? I think you'll be shocked, but if you follow me, you already know the answer. Yeah, the all-time record high in Vegas, 117 degrees. Canada broke it yesterday. They broke it actually twice, 118, and then the temperature kept going up to 121 degrees. That's one degree away from tying Phoenix's all-time record, and only 13 degrees away from the record in Death Valley. So 49.6 degrees, again, that's 121 Fahrenheit in Lytton, British Columbia, so the southern part of British Columbia. Uh, just insane heat. And these are the only places in the U.S. in red dots that have a higher record temperatures than lit in British Columbia. So Phoenix, as we mentioned, by one degree and a few other desert spots. Uh, so it was an insane heat wave. Portland, 108, 112, 116 during the three-day stretch, breaking, smashing those records three times the old record. Canada we talked about, but Seattle also broke it's all-time record, too. Uh, very rare to be above 100 degrees in Seattle, but they did it three times. And, of course, no surprise, a lot of places are dry, especially in the west. But also, uh, of course, here in the central part of the continent, we are seeing some fires. Uh, a couple of new ones here in the far western reaches of Ontario. And this is creating some smoke that is going to be wafting our way later today and into tomorrow. Already we're seeing it in parts of northern Minnesota. So, again, a couple of fires being uh, detected by satellite here. And you got to look in the very western part of the screen here. That's where we have those smoke plumes you can see coming from uh, those fires. And then here's another view as that smoke is drifting just right around Duluth into the south. Uh, and then another view we'll look here in southern Minnesota and you can see the smoke starting to show up uh, to our north too. So this is a model, computer model, showing where that smoke heads. Of course, it thins out a bit, but we will probably have some smoky skies here by later today and then kind of wandering around the area tomorrow as our uh, mid and upper level winds or lower and mid level winds, excuse me, are from the north coming from that direction. The heat is moving our direction as we've been talking about, but it spreads out. So kind of like a bicycle tire pump, you compress it, it heats up, you let it expand, it cools somewhat. It's still going to be hot. We're talking about a string of 90s here, uh, but it won't be 100 plus degrees like what they had in the northwest. So Friday temperatures already close to 90 into the 90s off to the west. Saturday, we're into the low 90s, at least here in the Twin Cities. Look at the 90s spreading all the way up into northern Minnesota, too. In western Minnesota, Sunday, um, even hotter for some spots. It looks like we'll have some high clouds around. Might cost us a couple degrees, but still we're talking 90s for the 4th of July. And it's going to be sunny, dry weather. I mean, you want that for the holiday weekend, I guess, but we do need the rain. Friday looks dry. Saturday, dry across the state, too. So any travel in Minnesota, Wisconsin looks quiet. Now, that starts to change here 4th of July. Northwestern and western Minnesota could see some showers or thunderstorms later in the day. Hopefully, you won't hamper fireworks. But here in the eastern part of the state and into Wisconsin, we stay dry. But that chance moves east Monday. So the day after the 4th, we do have the chance of some storms. And not a lot of humidity. Kind of been the norm here for June. Normally, we get hot weather in a normal summer, and it's humid. We haven't had much of that, of course. We haven't had a lot of rain either, and you need that humidity. But by Monday, it does get humid. Dew points will be near 70, ahead of cooler, drier air, and that's when we have our storm chance. Uh, but otherwise, Saturday, Sunday, dew points low 60s, ever so slightly sticky, but not oppressive. But it is going to be hot either way. 90 Friday into the 90s, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So, yeah, we're talking about a three, possibly four-day stretch of 90s here as we head into July. So July is trying to pick up right where June was.